heading on the trail to the start of the incline. Cog Railway Station. Here we are at the start. New fence, new ties, getting ready for the restoration. Hi. Right. On the way up. New warning sign. Off we go. This is the first of three rises until it starts up the main part of the hill. Get a good view of the first part of the climb. Going up from here. Top of the first rise. View off to the east. View up the uh, second rise. Second of three before you get to the main hill. Road bed here, still in good shape. There we are, coming up to the top of the second rise. Still climbing. And there's the third rise. Sign coming up. Marks where the Cog Railroad line is owned still by the railway. And this is where it still becomes illegal to go past this point. Continuing up the third rise goes for another couple hundred yards a nice stand of fir trees. Gives you a little bit of shade. Roadbed, ties still in pretty good shape. Okay, the top more or less of the third rise. View getting better. Some other people starting to come up. When I say more or less, it's because even when you get to the top of the hill, there's nothing level or downhill. Every step is up. From this point, however, you can no longer see the true summit. That's just the false summit. About another quarter mile of path or uh, trail beyond that point. But we're still on good railroad ties, good footing. Come up to where they used to have double tracks when the trains ran and I'll give you a shot where we end this and marks the end of the easy part of the climb. We're up past the double ties, still climbing of course. Gorgeous view. This section here, first pipe crossing, first sign of the roadbed breaking up. Still good for another couple hundred yards. Then the easy part ends and the hard part starts. Okay, coming to the end of the easy part. Great here to about here is about 45%. Goes up to almost 70 there. And this is what I'm gonna have to start dealing with after the easy part. Some of the steps, almost knee high, going over some nice pipe, a regular terrain, nice rocks, watch your step, and up we go. Thing to note is, that's your straight ahead view. Those ties, eye level are about, six, maybe seven feet in front of me, max. That's what you gotta get up to, just to get to the false summit. 
right up there is where they call the bailout, where you can get on the bar trail and go down from there if you don't want to go all the way up. Right here is where there's a section. There's a number of them up to the false summit, which I just call the ladders. Uh, interesting leg workout. Probably about 10 of these sections yet to go, going up to uh, the false summit. Here we are, bar trail, and the view. Garden of the Gods, off behind that tall pine. Where we've come. Some pipe is plastic. Where we have to go, and that's still just to the false summit. Thought you would enjoy a picture of the 30 inch pipe. Okay, false summit is right where those guys are. So we have to cover to get there. One last pipe. But I stop here not for the view up, but for the view back. You lose this once you get over the false summit, but you get a slight appreciation looking 70 degrees down at what you've accomplished to get here. Very close to the end of what I always call the hard part. Crest the uh, false summit and we're almost there. Coming up to the false summit, like everything else, there's no flat part. No downhill part. It's just not as steep going uphill. But now, for the first time, you can see the true summit. About another quarter mile. Right about here, we're at 8,000 feet above sea level. Up top there, have another 600 vertical feet to climb in the last quarter mile. And from this location, the trail is gone. Coming up to the end of the easy section in the top stretch. You can see the roadbed's in much better shape here. Another pipe, good looking thing. And the last section, getting to the top, the last big hill. Roadbed stays in pretty good shape though. Okay, 30 steps from the top. This is your view. Somewhere out there is Kansas. Now we finish. Okay, the workout's half over. Now we head back down. 